Hi, I'm Martha Zierden. I'm the Curator of Historical Archaeology here at the Charleston Museum. And today we are in the museum's Lowcountry History Hall taking a look at tea wares that are on permanent exhibit here. Refined earthen wares developed by the Staffordshire potters, including Thomas Wielden, in the mid-18th century were often fanciful and copied fruits and vegetables such as cauliflowers and, as you see here, pineapples. This is a teapot from our history collection that is complete. Beside it are a tea ware set from the Charleston Judicial Center site excavated by New South Associates in 2000. And here we see wares that are made locally by potter John Bartlam from 1765 to 1770 that copied that same pineapple style. Our largest and most diverse archaeological collection comes from our own Hayward Washington House. The Hayward Washington House was built in 1772 by signer of the Declaration of Independence, Thomas Hayward, and the privy at his house was filled with his wares when he left the property in the 1780s. We have a whole set of creamware, which are Staffordshire earthenwares developed in the 1770s or so, including a, a teapot lid, and a little tea saucer. But more glamorous are two sets of Chinese export porcelain, probably from the mid 18th century. We have tea bowls and saucers in two different sizes from this set. And we have a handled cup, possibly for tea or hot chocolate, also used at the same time and discarded at the same time. We are now behind the scenes in the offices of the Charleston Museum and I've pulled a selection of tea wares from our collection storage to highlight just sort of the pervasive range of materials we find on archaeological sites in Charleston. First we have a collection of tea wares from the South Carolina Society Hall that mimics in quality and variety the wares that we saw at the Hayward Washington House. This is an Ehlers Ware teapot base, a stone ware from the mid 18th century. This is a wonderful sprigged creamware teapot fragment with a rope handle. These are Chinese export porcelain tea wares decorated in blue underglaze and red overglaze. And rarest of all is this Chinese teapot direct from China, the only one found in, in the North American colonies. By the last quarter of the 18th century, Charleston fills with tea wares designed for a rising middle class. They were more affordable, um, they were more durable, and we see them in very large numbers. This collection comes from the Charleston Place site. These are hand-painted pearl wares developed after 1780. This blue teapot, of course, mimics the Chinese-style decoration, and all of these little floral patterns are created in sort of a uh, infinite variety of patterns. Sometimes they're match sets like these two saucers and this and this cup. Sometimes they're just sort of mix and match in some nice earth tone colors. Um, we see here our little pineapple design on occasional pieces and we see nice floral patterns. Here we have more of our Wielden type wares from our collection storage. From the exchange building we have this beautiful green and yellow striped ware and from the Bartlam site an identical piece in the same pattern. Um, from Charleston Judicial Center we have some delicate little tea wares, this tiny teacup, a very delicate little teapot lid. Um, here are more of our pineapple style wares from the Bartlam site and from the powder magazine a pineapple style tea bowl that was reconstructed from a pit excavated in the yard. Why is this tea bowl at the powder magazine? We're not really sure, but it does seem that people were living there as well as working there. This is another group of the hand-painted pearlware tea wares, and if they look smaller than the last set, they are. These are miniatures that we believe are toys, possibly samples, but more likely toys. And they come from a number of the sites up and down the Meeting Street corridor that were homes to people of the rising middle class. Thank you for joining us at the Charleston Museum for this tour of tea wares from archeological context. Please visit the museum and its galleries to see more of our amazing collection of artifacts.